All right. In the last part of this three episode series, uh, we're going to talk about should you have someone else press your comics for you? What are the risks of pressing? What are the options for having other people do it? And then in the future, we'll get into some actual pressing videos where we do some before and after shots on books that I've pressed myself. So the risks of pressing are the same no matter who does the pressing. So let's talk about the risks involved so that you know the potentialities there. There are various risks. The numerous ways to damage a book while pressing it include, first and foremost, the book is removed from any protective backing board or bag and you're handling it in that state, technically exposed in a sense. So anytime you handle a book like this, there can be accidental tears, drops that end with bends, creases, and more. You can catch it on tape if there's tape on your bags. Many, many different ways. Many people who press books will humidify them prior to pressing. I do that myself a lot of times. And so that means your book is in a sense exposed to steam and water and there's a risk of water damage. There are potentialities that can damage your book in there, even though they're all part of the process. So you, you have to realize that this could happen to your, your product, if even if you're pressing it or someone else. The actual pressing process can cause damage in a number of ways if done improperly or if a book is too fragile. Older books can be brittle and can literally like crack into pieces under pressure. Applying too much pressure can actually cause damage to a book and cause a severe rippling effect that can ruin an otherwise perfect cover. Too much heat can burn the book, which is clearly bad. Too much pressure can cause issues with the staples and the paper, causing a multi multitude of issues. So multiple ways that a book can be damaged while pressing. It is not a foolproof process. You want to, if you're gonna start pressing yourself, you wanna definitely get some practice books. And if you're gonna send something to someone else to press, make sure it's someone that you trust to take on this risk for you. Just know that it can happen. So all that being said, should you have someone press your books for you, if you do not want to press them yourself, that depends. It's a yes and a no. So should you send them the CCS before CGC? CCS is CGC's official, official pressing partner in business. I would not recommend sending books to CCS. For starters, it increases your wait time in grading by at least six months easily, I would say. I've never seen CCS not add months of time to a submission. I, you would expect it to add some time, it adds months of time to your submission. Second, I haven't personally seen CCS add substantially to any comic that someone has sent into them. I've seen multiple books sent in by other people, some even submitted under my account for other people, and I have not seen a discernible difference in the books that were sent to CCS. A lot of them don't even look like they were pressed. So what about other pressing services, people, etc.? There are actually a lot of reputable oppressors in the community. Locally here in Colorado, I know of a few that are easy to locate on Facebook groups related to comic books. They have great results according to the people that use their services regularly. I would suggest finding similar people in your local area if you're looking for a press prior to submitting to CGC or just for your personal collection. If you don't have one locally, there are people who will take interstate shipments to press prior to sending in if you're sending in to CGC or just to send back to you. Realize that you're putting your books at a risk in a multitude of ways, all the ways that we talked about earlier, and also including a shipping and handling process in that that could potentially damage or lose your book. Make sure your presser has some kind of insurance that can cover a loss should things go awry while the book is in their control. You'll likely have to sign a waiver though for any part of the pressing process and any potential damage that your book can incur while they're pressing it. So the burning, the rippling, warping, the old book shattering, all those things I was talking about that can happen while you're pressing a book, insurance isn't gonna cover that. They would, they'll would they never sign up to cover that. For me, it made sense to get a press and press my own books. Hopefully this quick series on pressing has helped answer some of the questions for you. There are plenty of other videos on YouTube on before and after images, advanced pressing and restoration techniques. Thanks for watching. Remember to hit like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.